Hey guys, Alex here, AJNashville.com. So I wanted to touch on something that uh, I've kind of seen going around here lately. Uh, it's common for a lot of us as rates go up. It's common, for, uh, I myself am guilty of this. And that's worrying about things other than the things that we control. Because the one thing that I do know is rates are going to go up. And so you see a lot of people that are stressing and saying, oh my God, the rates are too high. The clients can be pissed off. No one's going to buy homes. What am I going to do? The fact of the matter is if your rates are going up, so is all of your competitions. The biggest thing is the mindset. Are you doing what it takes in order to help the client? Because you have a couple different things. You have price and you have value. Price is what you pay. Value is what you receive. If you have the lowest price, what do you typically have? The lowest value. Case in point, you go buy a brand new base model Chevy Cobalt or whatever base model vehicles out there, and you may not have the AC, you may not have the automatic windows, you may not have the XM radio or the high def radio, but you still have a vehicle. You pay the price for a vehicle to get you to and from to suit your needs, and that's fine. Now, you take that same base model and you pay an extra $10,000. Why on earth would anyone pay an extra $10,000 for a vehicle? Well, power windows, cruise control, XM radio, leather seats, that's the value. So now you're paying a higher price to get the value. The same thing happens when you're doing real estate, mortgages, car sales, or any type of sales. Because the customer experience is the most important thing. That's where the value comes from. That's where your price exists, is acceptable. All of us are guilty of making fun of that 1% agent or the flat agent fee for listings and saying, oh, they're garbage. Those are shitty agents. You shouldn't do business with them. Come to me, Mr. 3%. I'm going to provide you the value. I'm going to get the professional pictures, get you on the listings, get the open houses, do the, the uh, realtor open houses, all the other fancy stuff. And it's true. With the higher price agent, you do get some extra comforts. With the higher price agent, you do get some things that you wouldn't get with your base model agent. The fact of the matter is everything's mindset. If you're finding the customer that wants the base model Chevy Cobalt, and that's not your clientele, let somebody else help that person. Let somebody else walk that person through the process. Say a bond loan, for example. Let somebody that specializes in that change your mindset and go find the person that wants the leather seats and the loaded up Chevy Cobalt. That's all it is. You're just switching gears and deciding where your business is at and who's going to value your time, your products, and the service you provide. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Make it a great week.